Good afternoon YouTube and welcome back, I'm Asa Ryan and we have three things we need to do this episode. Firstly, we need to finish cell box C, which should be fairly easy, we're just going to stick one more dormitory in here, which will release some cool 20 grand to us, which should be quite nice. Secondly, we need to make sure that we've hooked up all the electricity and fixed all of the sort of old degenerate things, um, you know, there's a few broken bits and pieces from the fire in here and, and everything like that. And thirdly, I want to um, uh, we'll basically do something with the parole room. This is pretty much one of the few we don't have, along with a meal room and a shop. I mean, all these things we need to sort of look at, but I think parole room is something I'd like to take a quick look at as well. One thing I have quickly noticed is that just the place is a, is a, is a real mess. It really is. It does need a good scrub. Um, so what I'm going to do is I am going to buy... Where are the cleaners? Janitors. I'm going to buy another one, two, three, four, five janitors for now. Um, they should be able to help scrub a dub. Um, but what we're also going to do is we're going to deploy a load of people if we can. We've got max jobs. Oh, okay, we've got the maximum people cleaning at the moment. Maybe we should make another cleaning cupboard uh, so that we can get more people cleaning. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Um, so, first of all, job number one, we are going to get on with this cell. So, quick build. We're just going to use the shared cell blueprint like we were doing before. There we go. That is the last one. Um, we're also just going to quickly make sure that the, uh, you know, the place is powered and, and the like. Here we go. We've got... That in, that in, and actually we need to put a shower in, and let's not forget that, because we've actually additionally added uh, a shower, like uh, so, to each one with a drain. There we go, just so that the prisoners can sleep in there if we'd like. Now, has this prison door been put in now? This prison door has been. So, why are they not going to their cells? Remember we had this problem last time, that... The minimum security prisoners are not going to the minimum security cells. And look, Ashby, is he... What's he doing? Why is he in the reception? I don't know why he's in the reception, to be honest. Oh, hello. Hello, look, they're going. They're all going now. Fantastic. Oh, it's because they're all going to... Ah, uh, they're going to lunch slash dinner. I see. Fair enough. In fact, actually, it's actually quite difficult to get in and out of the kitchen. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get rid of a wall. Let's just quickly do this. We'll demolish this wall here and we'll actually remove this door here as well. Let's remove that door and then we can put another... Uh, where is the metal detector? Metal detector, there we go. Put one in there. So we've got a double entrance in and out of the kitchen now. That's that's quite good. Um, splendid. Oh, that, I mean, that's, this, this is awesome. This is working really well. But the problem I've got is that no one's using the new kitchen. This is really a bit annoying. Um, now, why is this? Why is this actually happening? Now, it's probably got something to do with the food. Food distribution. Here we go. That is, that's great. Yes. Ah, here we go. So this kitchen is supplying this canteen. Good. These two are supplying that one. And they're receiving all from here. Okay, that that's great. That's that's fine. Laundry distribution. This laundry is just going everywhere, uh, and it's doing it very poorly. Probably room quality is not not so good, really, is it? It's just not not very good at all. But that's fine. Um, so we six squares. Occupant entitled to grade four, grade nine. Oh, the better they, I see. The better they act, the better cells they get. That's quite good. Quite like that. Um, Two in solitary confinement. But why why are they not using this properly? I bet I bet they go back at the end of this all to their own um to this holding cell. I want them I want them in these you know, these jail cells. It'll be interesting to see whether or not they sort of go there. But anyway, we've we built this last one. You can see now our prisoner capacity has gone to one hundred and one. We've got cell block C, that's for twenty grand earned. Fantastic, that is brilliant. Um, do we yet have the grant to do parole? No, we don't. Have we already done it? No, we can't have already done it. Why why is this not appearing for us? There is definitely one where we can do parole. Who knows? Who knows why that's not working? Um prison manufacturing facility, no one's really doing that at the moment. Um, as is reform through education. Again, not something that's happening. Why why are they not doing that? Let's have a look at the programs quickly. One interested. Um, lots of people are sort of doing the courses. Four past kitchen safety and hygiene. That's good. We've got four people 
who are actually um, plugging in now. Um, and we've got a few. Oh, hang on, let's have a look. We can, if we zoom in a bit, we can see who is interested in workshops. Uh, it's this guy. He, he's doing it. Workshop safety reduction. He is actually doing it. Okay, so at least we've got a few people. That's good, I guess. That is at least positive. Um, let's have a look. Foundation education. Let's have a quick zoom in and see who, who it is. Chris. Hello, how are you doing? You are? Oh, you're very unlikely to pass foundation education. Fair enough. But at least people are taking it. That's that's good. That's sort of positive in a way. Um, Righty-ho. We should probably just keep building then. Um, oh, God. Glass, why, why is there just so much... So much rubbish. You know what? I think we're going to have to do a shakedown, aren't we? This is this is getting silly. The amount of contraband that seems to be appearing right now is just appalling. Um, so we are going to have to stamp down on this, I think. We're going to wait for everyone to go to bed and we're going to initiate a shakedown and it will be fantastically fun. I'm looking forward to it already. Um, now, the parole room, this is sort of a fairly important room and it's one that we need to have in an upper, uh, sort of an area that people can, I guess, uh, access pretty easily. We need the warden to get there and we need uh, prisoners to be able to get there as well. Now, where is that sort of thing going to be? Here we've got a psychologist's office. That, that's sort of relatively interesting, but really at the sort of grand scale of things, not that interesting. We could probably move the psychologist's office. So we could make that into a parole room. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Let's switch it over to a parole room. Um, where's parole? Here we go. Minimum size five by five. It's not big enough. Hmm. All right. That's not great. Um, do, 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 do. Oh, there's so many decisions. Why Why are there so many decisions here? This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. Um, you, you, know, you know when you just sort of bounce around in the circle? We just need to commit to something and do it. I think that's going to be the only way we can do this. We're going to sort out power and things. Let's just stick to our main core activities. So why is this not hooked up? That's not hooked up because there's no power there. Good. Job one done. Uh, why is this not working? That's because this washing machine is gone broke itself. Let's dump that because that is broken. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to pick up a new one as soon as we've sort of done here. Oh no, that's that's not that's not the washing machine that's broken. That's the room that's broken. Oh, oops. That's a bit stupid. I think I've just wasted a grand there. Never mind. Um, we will we'll try again. Laundry. Laundry, laundry, laundry. Where's laundry? Take a quick look. Laundry. Oh, I don't even see it. Let's just type it in. There it is. Fantastic. There we go. Now it's all laundry. There we go. Perfect. It might actually start working now. We're being attacked. Who's attacking my guards? Yeah, where, what's happening? Where, where, I can hear all the sort of commotion noise, but I didn't hear anything happening. Oh, who knows? Who knows, eh? That's all a bit random isn't that um workshop introduction i really really want workshop to be to be sort of actioned but it's not happening is it it's definitely not happening you know what this could be a parole room this is actually this is perfect for it oh yeah look at that fantastic well let's just do that quickly let's get ourselves a door in here uh we need to deploy a guard in there because things might get heated apparently if the parole is denied make this into a patrol a patrol parole room and we need a visitor table in it. That's all we really need in a visitor table. Uh, in, in a floor room, sorry. So we'll just sort of do that. Uh, you know what? We'll, we'll make it into a nice looking room. We'll have um, let's have a TV in the parole room. Oh, God. Here we go. Hang on. Hang on. Have a phone booth in there. Why not? I, I, I don't know. We'll have a sofa in here. I know. I know. Oh, for God's sake. We're fine. I'll take your bloody call. Here we go. An incident at another facility has highlighted potential issues with security checks when it comes to family visitation in prisons. Until the processes can be properly reviewed, all visitation must be suspended. You have 12 hours to remove all visitation rooms from your prison. Visitation? Oh, they're not going to like that, are they? Never mind. Well, what we'll do is we'll, we'll get rid of visitation for now. Um, we can always... There we go. We'll, we'll just sort of put it back later. 
Four families waiting to visit. You know what? It's not the biggest. That's not the worst thing that could have happened, to be honest. Oh, here we go. Here comes the bell again. Do you remember last week we had the bell? Here it is again. I, this is what happens when you film on a Sunday. I think it's the only time I get to film these days. It's sort of work is so busy during the week. Uh, I sort of end up doing this on a Sunday. And that... Uh, it's 27 degrees outside, 28 degrees. I have to have the window open. I'm really sorry. There's no air conditioning. This is Britain. We can't do air conditioning like you do elsewhere in the world. We just we, we just sort of fail at that sort of thing. So we've got the bell. I hope I hope you don't mind the bell. <laughs> it's funny. I've got Audacity, right, on my left-hand side picking up my microphone. I can see all the little sound waves. And if I just go silent for a second... I can actually see the sound on the Audacity going up and down. That's hilarious. I'm. You know what? No other YouTuber has a bell going off in the background, you know? Just take it as a take it as a fun thing, a novelty. Um, why are these guys not in the bloody cells yet? This is ridiculous. They're not going into their proper dormitories. Oh, but they are. Hang on, these guys are. These these guys are in there. Who is this? Let's have a look. This is Osborne. Osborne is low security. Right. Fantastic, so he's actually using the dormitory. Now, why is he using it and none of the others are? What is with that? Oh, bell stopped. Fair enough. Why is that happening? Does anyone figure this out? Leave me a comment. I'd, I'd be interested to know why this seems to be happening. I'm not actually sure, but for whatever reason, it's not, it's not working well. What I'm actually going to do while we're at this is I'm going to add a load more cells because at this point, these, these share cells seem to be working well. Um, our workers need something to do, so we'll just quickly, we'll go in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that. I don't know if that's going to work or not. Um, actually, you know what, I do need to do, should we, should we put foundations in as well? Maybe I've got to put foundations in separately. Yeah, I do, unfortunately, there we go, so foundations in separately. No, it's not going to work. Well, we'll see, we'll see if it works. We'll see if it works. Maybe, maybe it will. Um, we need to put uh, the pipe works in, and then we need to put the showers in. That's the last sort of bit, isn't it? Okay, like that, like that, like that. Like that. In go the pipes. I wish there was a quicker way of doing this, but I swear there is not. Here we go. Perfect. Right. It's done. Oh no, they do the foundations automatically. That's good. That is really good. Oh, I forgot to do my shakedown. Ah, oh, damn. That would have been really good uh, to do the shakedown, but, but, you know, never mind. Never mind. For now, that's all right. Uh, objects. We'll go to shower head. Yep, here we go. And we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. I can hear the trees coming down. Nature has to make way for my jail. <laughs> there will be no natural life here. Tell you it'll be fantastic. Fantastic, I say. That has used like 10 grand of my budget though. That, that's ridiculous. Can I increase my loan? Maximum loan, 40,000. Wow, my credit rating's really good. I could loan, I could loan to my eyeballs. That's that's perfect. Well that, that could be worth doing actually. Although actually we should possibly decrease. Let's have a look. If you make regular payments, your credit rating will increase and the bank will allow you to borrow more. However, if you miss payments, your credit rating will be decimated and the bank will refuse to lend you more when you need it. Okay, so we can. We can get more of that later if we need to. Fair enough. That's fine. Um, so these will add a few more prisoners. We'll have a few more minimum security. I like to keep the minimum security ticking over. You know, these guys are really easy to deal with. Um, they're nice and gentle prisoners. They're really not. They're not too bad. That it's just sort of all being it's still coming out of my bank balance. I thought when I popped them down that was it. But maybe it's just the foundations. Oh, I don't know. So I think it's a, you pay for stuff when it gets ordered in. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. But there we go. Um you know what? Let's have a look at the prison populace. Who have we got in our prison at the moment? Let's let's take a look. We've got twenty five workers and fifty six guards. Wow, that's that's a lot of guards, isn't it? Staff nineteen, administrators five. We could probably get more administrators than that. 20 high risk, 60 normal risk, and 21 low risk. That's quite diverse, really, isn't it? I'm quite quite pleased with that. Um, have a quick save. There you go. Uh, intake. We're sort of getting as many as we can to fill the capacity. Um, we've also got jobs. Here we go. <laughs> this is quite interesting. Load ingredients into the cooker. This is all the stuff the game actually has to process while we're playing it. I've been really amazed with how complex a game this is whilst being so... 
it's just smooth. There's no lag on this game. It seems to move pretty quickly. I'm, I've been really impressed, actually. It's, it, it's fairly good. Everyone seems to be fairly happy at the moment. We haven't had any sort of real issue. Regime. Minimum security. I think, to be honest, I might want minimum security to be doing more. But they seem to be working at all the right times. Um, I'm, I'm fairly happy with what they're doing right now. Um, prison politry. Solitary for everything. I quite like that. You know what? I... Solitary is kind of, it seems to be doing its job. It seems to be keeping um, the peace. Grants, we're still not getting through any of these grants, unfortunately. <coughs> Produce 30 license plates. Have we made any? Have we made any license plates? That's the question. I don't think we have. I think we have made like zilch. Qualified prisoner zero. Required workshop safety introduction. But I mean, oh, two finished and zero passed. <laughs> oh dear. That's not very good. Um, oh, there we go. Well, anyway, we've got max jobs. We'll, we'll stick a load in the kitchen. Why not? Stick them in the kitchens. Max jobs. We've got qualified prisoners. Yeah, that's that's perfect. Um, oh, you see, again, this kitchen's not working either. I have to keep from. I need to remember when a fire happens, it absolutely ruins the layout of the kitchen. There we go. Perfect. Is that not? It needs to be? No, that's fine. That's sorted. Right. Groovy. And there's a wall missing. Why is there a wall missing? Come on. Shouldn't be able to get from a laundry to the kitchen. I feel that is a that is a risk at the best of times. Um, how many people have we had past foundation in education? Not many at all. Wow, we are really doing poor at this. <laughs> really, really poor at this. Never mind. Never mind. We'll, we'll, we'll sort of, we'll be alright. Uh, visitation rooms have been removed. That's fine. You know what? I think the only thing we can really do at the moment is to sort of increase prisoner capacity. We'll just sort of keep shunting it up, shall we? Um, I mean, parole parole seems to be sort of here and working. I don't know... How do you trigger parole? Is there a grant for parole now? I don't know how you do that. Oh, maybe I've got to research it. Maybe I've got to research it. Do I research parole? Let's have a look. Legal. Small cells. Um, <laughs> you can remove uh, the the minimum size requirement for standard cells. I like that. Legal prep. Uh, every prison... Oh, this basically begins the immunity. Um, permanent punishment. Sometimes being in prison in locked away isn't enough. Your lawyer can file the necessary papers to let you confine prisoners to a cell permanently. Wow, that seems a bit harsh, doesn't it? Um, death row. Oh, that could be something to do. I've never done death row before. That seems a bit a bit morbid, but never mind. Tax relief. Um, you will save 1,500 taxes per 10,000 of daily profit. I don't know what our daily profit is like. Oh, it would only save us 2,400 a day, but you know what? We'd make that back in, this, in quite a short space of time, actually. That could be worth taking a look at. Uh, for now, I think the best thing we can do is just to keep keep building more and more prison and you can see that we've got we've got a lot of uh, regular prisoners in um, but if we take the planning tool you can see if we look at start up this wall it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen cells wide so what we'd have to do is we'd actually have to go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen now if we wanted to have another wing it would be that big right how much is that going to cost? This would add another 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 40. It would add another 14 shed cells, so another 42 people. How much would that cost? 5,400. I mean, that sounds fine. Get underway. Do it. Do it now. You can, you can publish. Sell the trees. I think my, my people have been fairly good at selling trees, right? They move the trees to the exports and they sell them, which is quite good, actually. Um... It's good to keep the workers busy, I think. We've got 25 of them, they're, they're, they're paying wages. I'm actually quite, I'm quite happy with how things are going right now. Uh, the kitchens, the kitchens are being, oh, there's just not enough staff in the kitchens, I don't think. Hang on, cooks, we need more cooks. Why is this one not being? One, two, three, four, five. That's plenty of cooks. Surely we don't need any more cooks than that. Uh, you know what, kitchen, we'll have a staff door as well into there, because storage is, is a little bit of a long way. Oh, look, the, the staff having to actually bring stuff to storage. That's crazy. Um, yeah, objects, we'll have a staff door into there. Oh, no, that's not a staff door, that's a road gate. A road gate, what is that? 
Oh god, there's so many things I just have never seen. I think I think we're gonna have to play around with these at some point. Maybe it's if you want to build on the other side of the road. That could be it actually. That could be it. Window to glimpse the sun through. No, you know what? That's um fine with that. We do don't need. Taking steps against global warming is all of our responsibility. <laughs> Indeed it is. Sprinkler? Automatically sprays the area with water in event of a fire. That's actually quite handy. Should we put these should we put these in the kitchen? I haven't put sprinklers in the kitchen. That's amazing. Right, let's just do that. We'll have one in that kitchen. We'll have one in that kitchen. And we'll have two in that kitchen. And then the utilities, have we gotta hook those up? I don't know. Probably. It seems to indicate we did, right? I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure it'll tell us later. Well, we'll forget about it for now. Um, actually, no, no, we won't. That's just there. Where was the other one? That's here. So actually, we just need to go like that. And where was the other sprinklers? I mean, this game is great. You really do just jump around from one job to another. It's so so tricky to sort of keep your mind in the game, you know? Um, go to that. The other sprinklers here, wasn't it? So go to that. Splendid. Right. So those those are really handy, actually. Being able to put out fires, fantastic. We like that. Um, the workers are stuck in there. Fair enough. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to plan uh, these out. We're going to have one, two. Uh, hang on, let's get the planning tool. It will be. We'll get rid of this. We'll get rid of that. So we're going to have uh, one, two, three, four, and then here, and then that's where the wall is going to be, and then it'll be one, two, three, four, and the wall will be there. Right, so that's where the, um, west is where the corridor will be, so what we'll do is we'll quickly just demolish these walls, and then as a priority, we will stick in a large dale door here. Uh, prioritise. There we go. Look, there he is. He's fabricated it from mid-air. I like it. That in there, good. Oh look, the dormitories are actually being used now. Oh thank god. Thank goodness. I don't know why. I don't know why they were in that that holding cell, but never mind. Uh, normal door locked open. Here we go. Done. Right there we go, and we'll just get the utilities in. I mean this this wing has cost us a lot of money, a absolute ton of money. But never mind. Never mind. It's fine. Um, Oh, no, I've just completely got rid of that by accident. That needs to be built as well. There we go, two wings of this jail. Um, deployment as well, minsec only, before we forget. Actually, we should get some more staff only areas. This corridor, this is all staff only, isn't it? Um, the armory, that's staff only. Kennel, that's staff only. Um, the morgue is definitely staff only. I mean, who knows what would happen if prisoners could get in there. That's not great. Um, I think for now that's that's fine, isn't it? Deliveries. Deliveries is, is, is really small, isn't it? Why is deliveries so small? No, it's not. Ah, who knows? Oh, we've got two deliveries areas, haven't we? Um, fair enough. You know, maybe we could put some deliveries the other side of the road. That could be, that could be something to do. Um, in the meantime, though, what we do need to do is we do need to increase the bank loan a bit in order to be able to build all of these cells. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to stick the shed. We're going to do this the last thing of this episode. So let's just quickly plunk this in. We'll go um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And if we can get these in first, quickly... Before they all have to oh no here we go we've run out of money increase the loan so as much as it can go to there we go like that perfect that goes in there that goes in there that goes in there that goes in there and that goes in there there we go that is a load of cells all ordered now we've got a big bank loan coming out at the moment um loan interest 1450 a day that's pretty that's pretty massive, um, but for now, for now, actually, that's that's plenty. We don't need any more money than that. We can probably decrease the loan at some point, but we need to keep a nice amount of uh, of net money just because 
we don't want our credit rating going down. Look, credit rating is 6.8. We, oh, we are, we are like the perfect borrowers. I tell you, we people, the banks are going to want to just chuck money at us. You know, we, there's no, there's no sort of if or buts about this. They, they love us. It's going to be brilliant. Um, well, thank you very much for watching. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly between episodes, just going to put all of these uh, pipes in and make sure that the, because um, I've just forgotten as well that they've got showers in here as well. Um, the shower seems to be working quite nicely. I mean, I haven't seen anyone get particularly mad about being smelly or, you know, the fact that their, their limbs are sort of rotting off from, from just disgusting fungal infections and whatnot. We seem to be doing all right at the moment. So for now, I think we'll, uh, we'll keep, keep up the good work. And until then, I will see you all you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!